Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. We have a question from Andrea. Andrea, she's supporting Rumi, and she said, Rumi says, there is one thing in this world you must never forget to do. If you forget everything else and not this, there's nothing to worry about. But if you remember everything else and forget this, then you will have done nothing in your life. So a human being come to this world to do a particular work that is the purpose. If you don't, you will be wasting valuable kindness and forgetting your dignity and purpose. So the question is, when is that specific task or mission revealed? What are the signs? Is it possible to get to the middle age and not know that? Or it could be we overlooked it? Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear Andrea. Rumi also said that it is your heart which pulls you to what your soul is attracted to. So I don't think that you can miss it. One sheikh once said to me, you cannot miss it because it's too big. Yeah. But um, man is missing continuously, you know, and this is why we are living in the situation as we live between a total disaster, a total apocalypse that could happen any moment. And on the other side, there is a lot of promising things happening and very uplifting people and groups and movements that come up. And so for your individual, you have to understand that you come here in this earth, you come here in this life with a plan that was written for you and that you wrote also. And this plan happens in a time and in a space. It is not one plan. It is multiple plans, actually. There are multiple possibilities because this is how our universe functions. It's not just one way. It's not one possibility, one chance. There is many, many, many um, ways and very, it's very, very complex, you know. But let's keep it simple. And there's so many people that ask me, what is my mission? What is my purpose? What is the purpose of all? And this is not the question. This is an irrelevant question because you start somewhere else. You, you want to know the end before you want to make the beginning, you know. So um, the beginning is that we do not see. We do not see ourselves. We cannot see this point. So what do we do if we cannot see? Yeah. First thing is we stop. We do not keep on running in the same direction. We, we make a halt. We make a mental pause. We try to make an emotional pause as well. That means we go into distance and we look to ourselves what we can see. Because that's the only thing you have to look at is to your own self. You look to your own self and you try to see your own self. What is yourself? What is your shadow self? What is your um, higher self? No? What are your patterns? And when you understand those things, then you look what is around you, you know. And for example, it is amazing how many people forget about what is every day in front of their face. And this is the light of the sun. This is something we never ever think about it. It's so granted for us. It's so completely um, 
way in our thoughts, and yet it is the most, most important of all. No? And all the planets follow this light. No? That should make us already to think something. No? That all the planets surround the sun, also the earth. No? And um, we do not think about that, what that means. So when we want to understand our personal situation, we also have always to understand the cosmic, the cosmic situation. So there is three steps. The first one is the, the forgetfulness, that you forget completely, you are completely in forgetfulness. Yeah, you come from this well of forgetfulness. And the next step is that you um, look into psychology. Yeah. You look into psychology and you find yourself somewhere enlightened through this psychology. You see some things, you see um, things, but there is not a way out there. Yeah. It is not really clear. It is up and down. There is a truth and yet there is not the, all the truth there. You cannot just explain everything through it. And the next one would be cosmology. Yeah. So that means you understand your cosmic situation. And when you understand your cosmic situation, you also see all the other things. You see the direction you have to take and you see the things which are in the way. And you can find um, a guidance through it. You know? And then there is the thing that we refer, in every tradition, we refer to a book, you know? And the book reflects the overall matrix, which is in the, in the cosmic happening, but it is encrypted because it cannot be open, it cannot be manifested as something in this world that is open, because then it would fill everything. It would fill the space of everything, so it has to be encrypted. That means it doesn't take the space. No? When something is encrypted, it means also it is compressed. We have this in the digital world, like we say there is zip, zip files, no? for example. And that means the amount of data is shrinked, but it is still all there. It is just compressed, it is encrypted, yeah? and in the same way, these are the divine books. And you decrypt them by reading, by listening, mainly by listening, by reciting. And um, that is uh, one of the process. And when you reach to a point where you are able to live a pure life, you will also have the wish, very strong wish and very strong determination to purify yourself. You know? And once you reach to a moment of purification, which is something that is completely forgotten in the New Age, because it's just... New Age is all the time about your mission, about your purpose, about the superpowers that you should have. And uh, no one thinks that in the normal world, this, for example, cannot be. We do not give weapons in the hand of children, right? We do not give a certain knowledge in the hands of people who are not responsible. Yeah? We make tests, we make um, security protocols that no one can have a dangerous thing in his hands without control, right? Without being tested upon it also. So it's a very big point to purify. No, And purification means you follow the principles. You follow the principles instead of your emotions. Usually people follow always their emotions. And that means you are in the loop of repeating and reacting. No? Um, and the principle means that you follow, for example, the principle of truth. So you apply radical truth. To everything or you follow the principle of gratefulness so you 
practice that every day, no matter what your emotions are. You can be sad, you can be angry, you can be confused, but you can still all the time say thank you for it, you know. So when you go with the principles, you take the power back, you know. You're not anymore feeding your emotional system by all kinds of means, no. But you bring them up bring them up and you bring them into the light no you don't go in reaction and reaction means repetition no and that will unveil very clearly what is for you to do yeah it is like you you learn to read so when you learn to read in your own book that book tells you what is it yeah, so you will read in your own book, in the book of life, what they call the book of life, no? You will read in that book. And in that book, it will be very clear for you what to do. And for every one of us, it always has the same purpose. The purpose is very simple. The purpose is to serve the cosmic situation, the cosmic harmony if you want to say so that sounds very esoteric but at the end of the day this is what it is yeah if you think it bigger you know if you think it on a planetarian level there shouldn't be a planet which is against all the others no and uh, they have to come in peace with each other there shouldn't be a planet that is threatened by another no or that is destroyed by another so we learn in an isolated way um, that we make the steps, for example, that we stop killing each other on this planet. That would be, for example, a point that we can say, now this humanity achieved a real step. They are now in a reality. They stop killing, threatening, um, blackmailing each other no? on a worldwide level. No? And of course, that's not going to happen until every one of us does this work. This is the thing. It cannot happen from up down, you know, as the laws and the rules do not prevent us from committing crimes, right? Even we have punishments, even we have everything, but there is people, they will continue to commit crimes, no? So it can never happen from up down cannot happen to, through force. It has to happen through an inner awakening. So that means you cannot receive the answers from up yeah, in the condition you are. You have to bring yourself up first and then you can come into this dialogue, you know. So this is your work. And when you follow a certain practicing when that is clear that you want to follow that you can follow not only bits and bytes here and there but you want to really give yourself to a path you know or to a guide then you save a lot of lifetime you know and um, if you follow a traditional path for example there is a kind of security in it you see i'm not saying this is the only possibility, but it is a very safe possibility, you know. Um, the danger is that there is people, they are caught up just in the traditions and they are not what we call the son of their time, you know, people of their time. That is uh, a must to keep a tradition alive. They have to be in relationship with their time you know, and what the time requires. But at the same time, they are aware of what is important and of what is elementary. And this will never be changed. You know? So following the principles is one of them. Yeah, this never be changing. You know? And this is it. Yeah? So you are on a point where you must ask yourself, am I willing to follow? Yeah. Uh, not because you are weak, but the opposite, because you are strong, you're ready. You know? And when that is 
a yes, then look what invites you, what is close to you, where you feel attracted to, you know, and then try, you know, that would be my advice. So do not worry. Yeah. The plan will be fulfilled and the plan is written by a loving hand, by a conscious hand. Uh, you never have to worry for yourself yeah, or others on that point. Yeah. Thank you very much for the question and Allah bless you.